guys, how are you doing? This is Manga Etc. And today I'm here to talk to you about Toroko Manga Chapter 322. First thing I want to say is that this chapter was by far the best of the week. Like out of everything that came out this week, I know the week ain't done yet, but Toroko was the best and it will still remain the best at the end of the week if something wants to surprise me and come out. But yeah, let's get into the chapter itself really. The first thing we see, everyone's still partying, everyone's still enjoying pain, you know, changing back and forth to a man and a woman and then we know they notice that the pear from the birth cry tree has started to fall fall down it's literally rain and pear from the birth cry tree and basically everyone's like how is this even possible and then Kaka goes on to tell us that how how to prepare how to capture sorry the pear from the birth cry tree and this is by by kissing someone of the opposite sex and apparently you've got to be the same spe- species but we see Bambina who's kissing the female Zongi but he's not a monkey so this speculation to how this actually works maybe if you believe you're kissing someone of the opposite sex then it works from there from there and then someone goes on to say that how I thought that Pear was supposed to be a high high capture ingredient that like this is too easy to capture it and then Bambina goes not Bambina sorry Kaka goes on to say that how the ki- the kissing of the opposite sex only works for high level for people of high level so for the high level monkeys that would work but for the lower level ones the preparing method is different that you got to, you got to cure someone of the opposite sex and it's not that not that easy as well this person of the opposite sex has to be like the same level as you the gourmet cells have to be of the same level for this to work the second bit of the chapter now is with is with, is with fate kaka and 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 peer the blue natural peer they've met up now fate kaka has managed to get off the blast that was sent her sent her flying with a bit of rage fate kaka managed to kick the blast upwards and then Pier just happens, the blue natural pier just happens to be there and they start talking now, the first thing they start talking about is the eight kings and how Bambina's real name is Bambino and how that he's got a lot stronger since the last time so maybe that explains why this fake kaka thought she could she could take him because they fought and like there's been some confrontation between the Blue Nitro and Bambino in the past so maybe this is why Fake Kaka thought she could take him because she wasn't expecting him to be as strong as he was back then we also learned that it was Bambino's ancestor who we learned that Bambino's ancestor drank the original pear to a point where it was almost run out and this happened in the past and they're basically hating on the eight kings like the um the 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 lone Herat Hercules, Her- Hercules he was mentioned as well. And they're basically hating, but it shows that they're worried about. It shows that how the Blue Knights are worried about the eight kings, at least these two in particular, and that how like their strength is something for them to worry about. We also get to learn that how the Blue Knights are after these three chefs known as the treasonous treasonous chefs treasonous chefs and and also Komatsu we also we also learn we also learn that the fake kaka she can hear the, she can hear the voices of the back channel like Komatsu could and she could also sense that there was like a great taste within this pear that, that that everyone's eating on now and that she's missing out on unfortunately but yeah the last thing we learn from this bit is the fact that our pear he said that this next solo eclipse is going to be the last one and that Acacia is waiting for it so when I originally read this now I was like what so it means that we can assume that he's alive I have another theory that he could be a food spirit but I definitely feel that we'll get some real time action with Acacia so that's good I know like a lot of t- every, every talker fan should be hyped up about that 
I'm hoping we get to see him fight because he must be like one of the strongest in, in the Toriko verse. So I'm hoping that we get to see some fighting actually from him as well. But that was the end of that bit. So in the in the next part of the chapter, we get mid on, we get Tengu Branchi there. There, there now, he, Tengu Branchi is ready to deliver the air to him. And then it goes into a flashback of, of when Toriko saved Kumatsu. And we basically, we learn through this, we learn that Major's goal lies in this past and he he believes that if he can eat Akasia's full course he can reach this goal and also in the flashback we get Toriko he's basically saying to Medra if I help you reach your goal will you leave like the future to to me and he's basic Toriko is basically telling them that how I'll I'll bring you the ingredients of Akasia's full course if we get them first and if you do the same, you'll bring it to us. And I also bring these ingredients to the human world. And basically, when we when we got Acacia's full course, we'll all get together and we'll enjoy it together. And Major Major finds this funny. He basically he's basically you can see the hope that he has for Toriko and Komatsu because you can see the resemblance. He basically likes their combo. <laughs> he basically likes their combo. So. The flashback ends now, and it goes back to Tengu, Branchi, and Midra, and Midra is basically telling him now that the next ingredient, another, the Cassius fish course, is going to be hard for Toriko to capture. And he goes on to say that how Tengu, Branchi will be needed for this. And he tells Starjun, Starjun to tag along for the, for the ride. So we learn through that that obviously we're obviously heading to area six next. So we learn that from there. Now moving on to the last bit of the chapter, we have Kakashi's telling us that after the next solar eclipse, the, the I was gonna say Earth, but this is not planet Earth, but the Toriko world will be fully ripe and shortly after that the world will collapse. She then goes on to say that from the get-go from Gormit Sars was introduced to this planet that the planet has been cooking cooking now when I read that I was like what if the world is an ingredient who's going to eat it and then I started to think the demon king the demon king is real the demon king is gonna come down and he's gonna he's gonna munch the earth so I was thinking no 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 and that's how the chapter ends really so should i move on to my rating i personally there's a lot of there's a, a lot happened we, we've learned a lot through this chapter and i have no qualms with it there's nothing i can find wrong there's no fault i can find wrong so i have to i have to do this i have to give it a five star but yeah, I'm kind of hungry now. I swear, like when I come to do Toriko reviews, I get hungry. So I'm going to end this review now. Tell me your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.